Hi friends, today our read aloud is The Umbrella. So this week we're going to be reading, reading some spring themed books and some Easter themed books. And something that happens in spring is a lot of rain, right? So this book has to take, takes place in a rainstorm and there's lots of different animals and there's even some Spanish in this book. So this is The Umbrella by Jan Brett, which Jan Brett also wrote the book The Mitten, if you're very familiar with that one as well. It's very similar to this book. Hey, little Carlos, where are you going with that umbrella? Into the cloud forest, Papa, to see what I can see. I'll be spotting a jaguar and a monkey. For sure, I'll spy a toucan and a kinkajou. I'll keep my eyes right, peeled for a shy to peer. Okay. Buena suerte, Carlos. Good luck, Papa says. You know how I can tell when you get tired? Carlos start walks into the cloud day. forest. How silent it is. The only tired. sound is the drip, drip, <laughs> drip normally, of drops you know, falling like from the tall trees. There's not so much as a tiny tree frog down here, Carlos thinks. I'll we'll have to climb up for a better view. Carlos drops his umbrella and starts up the giant fig tree. Drip, drip, drip. A little puddle appears in the green umbrella. A tiny tree frog leaps down and slips into the water. Hola, Froggy cro croaks happily. I have this puddle all to myself. He sinks down until only his eyes peep out. Plop! A juicy ripe fig falls smack into the umbrella. Toucan is not far behind. Froggy sees Toucan's sharp beak. Vete, he peeps. Go away. But Toucan is not moving. He's waiting for another fig to fall. High in the tree, a scratching sound starts. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Something is sliding down the tree. It gets louder and louder until thump! Kinkajou tumbles in. Muy grande, Froggy squeaks. You're too big. You can't stay here, Toucan says. But Kinkajou is just getting comfortable. After prowling around all night for food, he's found just the right place to rest. Thump, crash, thump. Baby Tapir blundles into the blunders into the green umbrella. Blah, blah, he bows. Mama, no está aquí. She's not here, Froggy shouts, along with hungry toucan and sleepy kinkajou. The umbrella's shiny green leaves shiver and shake, but baby Tapir is staying here until his mother comes for him. Swish, swish. A most beautiful bird sails down onto the umbrella handle. Quetzal looks down at Froggy, Toucan, Kinkajou, and Baby Tapir, rocking back and forth. Fly away, they call up. But proud Quetzal is too busy arranging his tall plumes to listen to them. Suddenly, Frisky Monkey jumps down. He grabs the umbrella, flings it into the river, and jumps aboard. Que pasa? What is happening? Froggy asks as water starts to pour into the umbrella. We will sink for sure. Toucan, Kikachu, Baby Tapir, and Quetzal wall together. That monkey never thinks before he acts. Attention! Who's sitting on me? Froggy cries. Stop poking your beak into me, Kikachu shouts at Toucan. Blah! Balls Baby Tapir. You're getting my feathers all wet, Quetzal squawks at Monkey. Jaguar is cleaning his, cleaning his silky black spots when he hears all the squabbling and looks up. As the umbrella floats by, he pounces in, making it sink even deeper into the water. The animals scramble and squirm out of Jaguar's way. No problemo. Froggy squeaks in Jaguar's ear. Be our guest, the animals cry. Just don't eat us up, is what they think to themselves. Hummingbird flashes by, smaller than small. He sees the big green umbrella handle sticking up, just the place for a hummingbird to stop for a little rest. As he is about to land, they all start shouting. No room, oh. big boy jaguar snarls. Move hey. on, monkey hollers. Find another place, hey. Quetzal sings out. We got here first, Kinkachu growls. Stay away, Toucan screeches. Blah, bawls baby to peer. Adios, goodbye, froggy peeps. But hummingbird lands anyway. Curse splash. The umbrella tumbles over and everyone falls out. Jaguar, Quetzal, Baby Tapir, Kinkajou, Toucan, Monkey, and Froggy all clamber up the bank as the umbrella pops to the surface and drifts back to the shore. Up in the giant fig tree, Carlos looks out at the sea of green. 
No animals today, he sighs. I wonder where they all are. He climbs down, picks up his umbrella, and walks towards home. The sun shines through the green leaves of the umbrella, and Carlos sees the silhouette of the tiny tree frog. Hey, little froggy. Try hitchhiking with me tomorrow, and I'll show you a real adventure. I'm going back to the cloud forest to find a toucan, kinkajou, maybe even a monkey or a shy tapir. I bet I'll see a jaguar, too. And I'm going to find that quetzal for sure. Carlos pops the umbrella outside his door. Drip, drip, drip. Water falls from the roof. A little puddle appears in the green umbrella. Froggy slides down the handle and slips into the water. Voila! Froggy splashes happily. I have this puddle all to myself. And that was the umbrella. Have a great day, friends.